Hello everybody, Drew here, tip of the mitt flips, where I'm a full-time eBay reseller and every 100 subscribers there's a giveaway. So if you're watching, make sure you subscribe so you have a chance to win. Not a ton of orders to go out, but let's go ahead and start pulling them. First thing going out on B4 is a vintage Echo keychain B4 uh, can opener. It's actually kind of neat. It's got, normally this comes in one piece and it would look like that, but this one is compact and you can leave it on your keys. I don't know why you would need a can opener on hand all the time. Uh, I really don't know. I mean, back in the day, yes, because you know you might have to pop an oil can or whatever the purpose was. And maybe it's just old enough that that's why. Or maybe you have it on your keychain for the zombie apocalypse and then, and then at least you'll be able to open cans of food. I don't know. Either way, what I do know is that it's a worth $11.99 free shipping. That is great. For something this small, in my opinion, that is great. I probably paid $0 for it. I don't remember buying it, so it was probably just in the bottom of a box of other stuff I bought. Next thing going out on D1 is a Brookstone Egg Alarm Clock. I know it's got more names to it, but... Oh, it's got the instructions, so I get to... It's a Brookstone 5-in-1 wobble clock. So I'm guessing when the alarm goes off, it wobbles. If it doesn't make a sound, except for the wobble, that's probably pretty cool. I'm a very light sleeper. I have one of those alarm clocks where the light just slowly turns on like it's daylight. I can't figure out how to work it. I've tried. I've watched YouTube videos. Maybe it's broken. I bought it used. I don't know. I'm going to try again because now that the kids are back to school and we have to set an alarm even though I'm usually up before it, the sound of an alarm, I don't care what it is, it's jarring. It's not a fun way to wake up. It's not good for your body. It's not good for your, what's that called? Circadian rhythm? That can't be it. Cicadas are a bug. Cir something like that. You know what I'm talking about, but cir circadian? Circadian? Let's look it up and find out together. Circadian rhythm. Okay, it is circadian. But isn't that the name of that bug? Cir cicadas? I don't know. Now I'm rambling. Oh, it's cicadas and circadian. Okay, there's the difference. Got it. Problem solved. For that alarm clock, though, $18.99 free shipping. Next thing going out, this one, I don't know. It worried me a little bit, but a sale's a sale. Take what you get. It's actually two of them. John Deere Clooster Equipment trucker style snapback hats listed sold immediately and they are exactly the same and so when that happens i always go hmm was there an issue did what why why did that sell instantly why did there was there a save search and so i went back because jen had listed them done all the research now saying she did something wrong but when i went back and looked there were no solds of this hat but the other two listings of this hat, one of them was for $50 and the other one was $80. There was no solds. Let's check uh, the old Terapeak. I didn't go that far because it was already sold. So, you know, I didn't want to bum myself out too much. But I, the only thing I could think, because this is a, this Clooster equipment, and th that's a local place, like a few towns over. I don't know if it's a chain, but still that wouldn't make any sense. Only thing I could think of is maybe somebody wore it in a movie, maybe a, Somebody in a band wore it in a music video. I really, I have no idea. Nope, and then even on um, Terapeak, only one sold is mine. So I'm thinking maybe somebody took a shot in the dark for some reason and listed theirs for 50. And then somebody was like, oh, this is listed for 50. I'll list mine for 80 or reverse of that. No idea. Do you, do you out there know any reason why this would be listed at $50 plus? I don't, but what we got for them was for the pair, $27.98 free shipping. So I'm actually happy they sold together because to send each one $13.99 free shipping, I think is what that was, it saves me about $4. So that's that's bonus money in my pocket. I'm, I'm okay with that. But it was just very weird because I double checked and then it happened to be that the one I double checked on, all the listings were extraordinarily high. I don't know. And it's, it's not going somewhere close. It's going to the West Coast. So that's why I'm thinking maybe somebody wore it in a concert video. Maybe it was in a movie or a TV show. I, I, I got no clue on that one. Next thing going out, and I'm not surprised it sold around this time. A3 is a Wonder Woman plus size costume. 
Which, what a terrible thing that is. Not Wonder Woman. But the concept of plus size woman. There is no men's plus size. Large, extra large, 2X, 3X. Our waist sizes, our numbers. Which women also have those things. But for some reason, they wanted to be mean at... I don't know. It was definitely marketing done by a man at some point that decided for some reason they wanted to make women feel bad and call it plus size. And then the next size up from that is queen size. So that's that at least sounds fancy. Still sounds maybe possibly insulting, but I don't know. I'm not a woman. I don't get to decide those things. But here's the part that that really caught my attention. The plus size waist 3436. 3436. I am a slender man. I'm a 32 waist. And I'm a skinny man. I'm a tiny guy. And I'm a 32. So if my waist size, pants size went up one, I I would be plus size if I was a woman. I think that's pretty messed up. Maybe maybe we should do away with that. Stop calling things plus size. But for that, because that's what it's called, plus size Wonder Woman costume from Secret Wishes. So I don't know. I don't know if that has any implication to what it looks like the outfit 44.99 plus shipping i don't remember what i paid for them but i bought i got this wonder woman costume and then i also got this one right here which is i can some kind of night something night dark night or something i don't know, ghost night but i think i paid five bucks a piece i might have paid 10 bucks a piece i'm not positive but 44.99 either way great money i assume the other one will sell within the next couple weeks so i'm packing up the wonder woman costume it's going to be tip of the day and the tip of the day today is if you use a small scale like this i do have a larger scale i don't have a good space to just keep it out all the time once we took it off and put it away, it's been actually very nice to have the extra counter space. So I figured this out. I don't know why it took me so long to figure this out. About a week ago, and I've been waiting for the opportunity. Here's the opportunity. You got your scale that's way too small. So you put your thing on there, and then you try to push it to the, this side, and then it hangs off, and then you're like, oh, that's not the right weight, and blah, blah, blah. Well, you balance it in the center there. You reach your finger down, and what if you don't know what this button is that says tear, T-A-R-E. Tear is say you're shipping something and you don't want to know. It's a lot of like bouncy balls. So you put them in, in a box so they don't roll everywhere. But first, put the box on. You hit tear. It will zero out the weight of that box. Put the bouncy balls in. Now you're only weighing the bouncy balls. How does that relate to getting the weight of this package? Well, I flop it on there. Hit tear. Pull the package off. Whatever the poundage is at this point, it's a negative, but it's still the exact same of what the package weighs. I've been doing this for years and only about a week ago thought of that. So if you've always been doing that, let me know. Oh yeah, Drew, you should have figured that out. How did you not know that by now? And if I just made your day better by figuring that out, also let me know that because that would make me not feel so bad about Literally, it's been years of struggling with that type of package on a smaller scale, having to dig out the other one. There was a time where I didn't have the bigger one, so it was just, it was a mess. You balance it on there, then quickly look, try it two or three times, trying to get the weight right. But I push tear, and now I know it is one pound, 5.1 ounces, easy peasy. Next thing going out, A1A is a HP ink cartridge for little money. A1A Beachfront Avenue. Okay, that's what I that's what I thought. There is no A1A. It's A2A or maybe, I don't know, that looks like a different ink cartridge. I'll have to double check. Let's get to looking. It's a C4906A. C4906A, that's the one right there. And for that $5.99 free shipping, I got that for free. I'll make about 40 cents. Not great. And you go, Drew, why do you keep selling these things that you say not great, not worth it, da-da-da-da-da? I'm saying not great, not worth it for you or for someone who doesn't run their business exactly like I run mine. Sometimes you just run out of stuff to list. Sometimes something like that, it's one picture, scan the barcode, one picture, it's in the drawer. It takes seconds and I didn't pay anything for it. There's lots of factors of why they get listed. I just get bummed out when they sell because then I have to go through the process of packing them and pulling them and, you know, it's very little money. But in, you know, 
January, February, where pickings are thin, I'll, I list everything sitting around. I run out of stuff to list. I will completely empty out my back stock. So it gets a little swampy there before the next garage sale season. Next thing going out, uh, it's a remote. It's a direct TV remote, brand new in package, I guess you could say, in plastic wrap. This one right here is your generic direct TV remote. And I ran a sale, so that's probably why this one finally got bought up. I do have a second one. And for that one, $8.99 free shipping. All right, so it's the next day. Did a little bit of garage sailing. Jen being who she is, some of it's already listed. So stuff that's not listed, we're going to go over real quick. At least two of the items, even though they're listed, I'm still going to mention them because one of them was cool. And one of them was a great find. So a uh, few things I got. Picked up this Articat Motorsports extra large um, cotton sweatshirt. Got that for a dollar. That's worth more than a dollar. I have no idea. We really don't do clothes. But for some reason, Jen and I keep buying clothes and then not listing it. So we have to figure out either we're just going to stop buying them. Just don't do it. Doesn't matter the value. Just don't buy it. Because what's the point if you're not going to list it? Or we just got to list it already. I, I don't know what it is. I think it's just because we don't have a good setup for it and we have a good setup for hard goods and other things. I don't know. I don't know why. I mean, there's a reason I never did clothes in the first place, but sometimes you just see stuff and you go, well, that's that's worth more than that. <laughs> I need that. Uh, this was a cool find. It's a genuine plastic, uh, instead of fake plastic, a uh, genuine plastic powerhouse pro model 19880. I paid 50 cents for this plastic bat, you get about $30 free shipping. And because of the length of it, this will definitely have to go FedEx or UPS because to ship something that long through USPS doesn't make sense. And I think if it's that long, you can't send it first class no matter what. So that's something I'll have to double check when, when we go to list it. But for, I mean, $30 free shipping on something I paid 50 cents for, weighs nothing even if i have to send that fedex or ups shipping still gonna be very cheap because it weighs nothing this farberware open hearth rotisserie grill that they said works i mean i really don't care i'll test the motor on the rotisserie part but i got that for free because it does they it was missing the plug that goes to the heating element and they said we couldn't find it so it's useless so it's just free i said well that's uh, yeah, well that's Great news. I don't know. I think I said something stupid because in my head I go, well, I'm going to I'm going to make about 100 bucks. So, if you haven't heard me say before, I used to sell these fairly often whole. I would clean them, you know, whatever pay, people would pay crazy amounts of shipping for me to make 50 bucks, 40 bucks because the shipping was so insane, the price has to be very low. Then I had the epiphany to just part it out. And it's worth more money parted out than it is as a whole piece. So I, I will never, ever sell one of these whole again. And then the big bonus is that it's if these have sold these, because I know this I've sold within the last 90 days. I think I sold a set of these within the last 90 days. The legs, I think I still have an active listing for. So the ones that have been sold within the last 90 days, I just go to my sold listings and then just go sell similar. Don't even got to change the pictures unless there's some major difference between them. Don't have to change the pictures or anything. Good to go. The ones that are live, I just, of course, just add a quantity to. I know there's an option, which I, I wish it was open to everyone. I know why they don't do it. But once you reach a certain store level, like it, I think it's once you're an anchor store, you can have active listings with a quantity of zero so that it's for so things that are replenishables or whatever but as far as replenishables go in my book this is the best one i have i don't really have a lot of replenishables things that when they sell i will replace with the exact same thing this is about the only thing i have in my store that that i wish i had that feature for but it would be very helpful because i plan when i parted out the last one i said i'm gonna find a couple of these this summer i didn't i found one none that were even for sale but the one I found was free. So that's better than, in my book, that's better than finding two that I paid for, getting one for free. I'm very happy about it. So very cool, very cool score, loved it. That was the sale where I also found one of the items I'm gonna show you, but I'm gonna say that to the end because it was a shocker to me. I knew it was good, I didn't think it was that good. 
at another sale for a dollar. I got these two brass wall hangings with little butterflies on them. I was a little, I was thinking, nah, nah, I'm not going to mess with that. Seems like it'd be a pain to ship, but really it's not. They'll fit in a priority box. Worst case scenario, these butterflies, these are actual like a Phillips screw. I could take all those off if I really wanted to, but I think I could just bubble wrap them and good to go because it's not oversized. So I, I don't think that'll be a problem to ship at all, but a buck for that, I have no idea what they're worth. I know they were worth picking up though because I know how much brass things in general cost. I know how to recognize quality or value. Made a whole video about it not too long ago or a whole spiel about it not too long ago. That's the key to being able to do reselling like I do as a living. When you sell one-offs is you can't know what everything's worth. You can't look every item up. You have to see an item and see value like this right here. This is a candle holder. I would say a tiered candle holder, but 25 cents. It's from, uh, let's see, best ever made in Japan. This is, it must be hollow because it's very light, but I think it's ceramic. But I know I'm gonna make money on this. I paid 25 cents. It's over a pound, so the shipping's gonna be eight to twelve dollars, depending on where it goes. Nine to twelve dollars, depending on where it goes, something like that. But this is going to have a decent value. No clue what that's gonna be. It's gonna be money. It's gonna be profit. Same sale I got the candle holder at. I also got these three wallets, which I paid a dollar a piece for these, and just ones that were branded. Uh, this one's Roxy. Um, this one's not branded, but it's, it's a real leather wallet with Australia on it. I, you know, even if these end up being $9.99 free shippers, that's, that's okay for what they are because I can put list all those in a couple minutes and it's fake, take up this much space. It's perfect. And then this one's a Cabela's, um, wallet, billfold, whatever you want to call this thing. I suspect maybe $14.99 free shipping on that. Cabela's is a pretty good brand to make money on whether or not it's a good brand. I don't know. I don't use Cabela stuff. At that same sale, I picked this up. This I overpaid for. I just saw a vintage tool. It's a tape measure. But I was like, okay, this 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 is probably a couple bucks. I'll double my money. I paid three bucks for it. I'll probably double my money. So not a great buy. I'm not excited about it. And I think it's going to weigh over a pound. Maybe not, but not a good buy. I wouldn't do that one again. Anything else from that sale? Nope. Um, next thing I got these, this like brass, I don't know what this is, like a, you hang it on the wall and then you hang your notes from it or something, but it's pretty heavy brass clasp of some kind made in Taiwan, but I paid two bucks for it. Again, I'll make money. I don't even know how much it usually doesn't matter. Just gotta be making money. There is a, you know, there is a bottom. There is a point where I shouldn't have bought it, but I'll still sell it, make 40 cents if that's what it ends up being. And then I just won't buy that thing again. I won't go into that category again. I won't think that that has value again. Not everything's a win. Not everything's a home run. Sometimes you gotta hit a single. Sometimes you gotta hit a fly out to advance the runner, to use some more baseball analogies. Um, at a different sale, trying not to cut myself while I do this, but I picked up four Ginsu knives. Uh, this one's Sharpsu. So I don't know if that's from the Ginsu brand or whatever, but I think I paid a dollar for the four of them. And I'll, I'll probably just end up allotting those together. Let me put these in this box before I cut myself. And then there's another one, Ginsu. So yeah, I'll probably lot those together. And then I got this for free. This is Terry Jerry's restaurant in Bay City, Michigan. Don't know if this is still a restaurant, but I know restaurant where you can usually do well if it's not in business anymore. So my my hope is that this is not a in business restaurant, or if it is, it's popular enough that somebody would want a vintage cup from that restaurant. Um, and then these I picked up for myself, also free. This is a local restaurant, The Boathouse. I might try to sell these just because that might be generic enough name that somebody, some other restaurant might exist or something. I don't know, but either way, it was uh, two, four, six rocks, six really nice rocks glasses for free. I would, what am I, I can put them in my garage sale for six bucks. And five bucks, five, six for five. There we go. I'm giving a deal. Still make some money. I wasn't going to pass on those for free. Uh, and then I got a stack of blank sealed VHS for a buck. 
Uh, one, two, three, four, five of them for a dollar. There's definitely some profits there. Real bummer at one of the sales I went to because they had, I don't know, 25 veggie tails. It had rained the morning of or like the night before or something and all their stuff was out. So the only ones, un unfortunately, the only ones that didn't get wet were in a tote underneath the table and the ones in the tote underneath the table didn't have cases. So I got six of them for a dollar, something like that. But like I said, there was, there was about 25 of them, but they were all, all soaking wet. I wasn't going to, it wasn't worth that for me to take them home and take all the insert out and have to put in the description water damaged and blah 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 it just not worth it and you might see me keep moving this around that i don't know how this ended up in the box that that was here that <laughs> that is ours all right now let me see if i can locate the cool things that i picked up that jen already listed at the place i got the vhs this was a great find it's a vintage don't think that really matters but it's a time clock this is new unfortunately they didn't have the box but who cares this was new i paid it just said make offer i paid 25 bucks for it i think we're i think it's going to be listed 229 250 somewhere in that range so that's a great great score you don't get that of course if it's not new but it's still time clocks something to look out for not super heavy a little cumbersome, but I think that'll still go priority. I, it won't fit in a number seven, but it'll still have the dimensions of, a, it'll have the, the cubic dimensions of uh, a number seven box or less. So it'll still go priority. Oh, and at the sale where I got the sweatshirt, I actually also got two Christmas decorations. This one right here is a Mr. Christmas brand. Let me double check on that. Yeah, Mr. Christmas brand. That is, as far as like your large Christmas decoration animated things, Mr. Christmas is the jackpot. That's that's the one you want. Last year, maybe it was two years ago. Might have been two years ago. It was two years ago, but it that was the difference of me being able to make the jump to full time was I had come into a lot of six Mr. Christmas items and I paid I think 20 bucks a piece, 30 bucks a piece, something like that. And they were all 200 plus, 150 plus, somewhere in that range. It's been a while now. That was the score where I, and they, cause they all sold. I bought them in October. They all sold. And I was like, oh, wow, I could probably do this. And that was, that was kind of the, the turning point for me. There's another one up there. It says up, up and away. I should have passed on that one. It's the shipping ends up more money than the item is worth. And those type of items are such a pain to deal with because people just complain, just complain, complain, complain. You sh I would buy this, but your shipping is so much. Da 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 da. I don't know what to. What do you want me to do about it? It's big. <laughs> oh, another thing I picked up at that same sale was this. Not a huge fan of what this is gonna take, but I paid five dollars for it, and I think seventy-five plus shipping, so that's worth dealing with. And I did pay $5 a piece for the other two Christmas decorations. Oh, she got a, she listed a bunch of stuff, man. Uh, Cause also at that sale, I got a, this was very cool, Dreamcast, a Sega Dreamcast keyboard, and then a Sega Dreamcast mouse also. And those I paid, the mouse and keyboard I paid five bucks for. And I think the keyboard was list, is listed for 70 plus shipping. Oh, here's the mouse right here. And the mouse, 50 plus shipping something like that so pretty good now where is the here's the one here's the one i've been wandering around killing time trying to find uh at the place i got the grill this let me get one out these these right here this is what i mean about spotting value i am aware of what a wall cover costs a normal plastic wall cover because my dad's an electrician and i've installed hundreds of these maybe thousands of these over my life. I've remodeled my house. So I know how much the plastic, generic, cheap as possible ones cost. And there's what? One, two, three, four. There's five of these in here. So I figured, okay, these are solid brass for just a plastic generic one. Generic one. You're talking still almost two bucks a piece. I got all five for a dollar. So I was, I was like, all right, very least... I'm gonna make about 10 bucks plus shipping on these, somewhere in that range. I, I knew there was, there was gonna be profits. But then, get them home, and Jen looks up that they actually are branded with a company, 
and that these are vintage, possibly antique, depending on your definition. And I think we ended up landing on $17.99 a piece. Yes, each one. Now, I don't know, remember if that's the shelf I got those off of. So that's a fun thing for me to figure out some other time. And then I'll blame Jen for it anyways. But yes, $17.99 a piece. So I paid a dollar for all five. And what, I mean, what's the math on that? 18 times five is 90 bucks minus I'll round up $5 a piece because it could be free shipping, plus there's some fees. So minus $25, minus the $1 I paid. That is a grand profit of $64 for plug covers, for a socket cover, for a socket plate, for whatever you call those. That's awesome. The finds like that, I can make less money on and I get more excited about because like the, the skateboard. That's that's 75 bucks. I paid five bucks for it. That's more. There's more profit there. I am way more excited about those because it's it's all the other check marks so much easier. So I'll have to start either doing haul videos as soon as I get the stuff or tell Jen to slow it down because I, I can't do haul videos. I bring it in. She starts picking through. She says, oh, this is easy to list. This is a good one. This, 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 which I'm not going to stop her. Don't put the brakes on when the business is going good. Well, that's going to be all for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. Subscribe, share, and be good to each other.